Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. And if you use either Mach 3 or Universal G-Code Sender, I need your help. I've been doing some troubleshooting through Zoom with a couple of people to try to get their machines to run the way they want them to run. Through Zoom, it's, it, there's certain limits because I'm not there with them. So let's cover these two. We're gonna get the Mach 3 one first and then the Universal G-Code Center second. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is leave comments down below as to what you think the problem might be so I can help them get going. So the first one is Mach 3. This is from a guy named Monza. And Monza has a beautiful CNC router he got. And he's using Mach 3. Now Monza got the machine because he's preparing for retirement. He is brand new to CNC, like very green. So he's starting at the bottom. He decided to go for broke. Here's the problem. We walked through the Mach 3 software, but could not get the G code to load into it. We've tried the extensions of TXT and the extension NC to load it up. Now we could get it to manually move get the machine home, uh, use the MDI function or the manual data input function to, to input data to get it to go to different places. So that all worked great. It's just we can't get the G code loaded in. So using the TXT and the uh, NC extensions didn't work. I don't understand why. So if you can help out, put that down in the comments. That would be great. The second one is with Renee. Renee is also a brand new CNC user, and she got a used long mill and is using Universal G-Code Sender. So as we started to get into it, her axes were going all over the place, the wrong buttons, using the, the, the jog functions in the Universal G-Code Sender software. So I was able to figure out that, okay, she has a control box and her servos go into plug into stepper motors, plug into certain connectors, they were all messed up. So we got those right. There's a Z, there's two X uh, connectors and one Y connector. When we got it all hooked up right, kinda, we got the Z to move with the Z jog buttons, the Y to move with the Y jog buttons, and the X to move with the X jog buttons. The Y was moving in the proper direction. When it was coming toward her, it was going in the Y minus direction. When it was going away, it was going in the Y plus direction. However, the Z and the X were going in opposite directions. So when we hit Z plus, the router would go down. Hit Z minus, the router would go up. When we hit X plus, the router would move to the left and hit X minus, the router would go move to the right. It's almost like the whole machine was, if this is the Y axis, like the machine was completely flipped over like that, but I don't understand how to get that corrected. So if you can also put in the comments what it is with the, the UGS. So the best way to do this is start your comment off with Mach 3 or UGS, and then put in what your thoughts are to troubleshoot this problem. And your help would be so greatly appreciated. I am so happy that this community is here to help each other. Looking forward to your answers. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and us as CNCers are gathering together in a community to help each other. Look forward to your answers. See ya.